Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the Great American Fudge Company. This, these are all three avalanche snacks. It's like this new line that the Great American Fudge Company's come out with. Uh, Cause we've tried stuff from them, but not the avalanche snacks. These are the Alpine Pretzels. These are the Grand Teton Mix. And the Pikes Peak S'mores. So these were bought at Tuesday morning. They were $3.99 a box at Tuesday morning. And they are manufactured by Blue Moose Sweet Shop in Centerville, Utah. So, you open it like this. And Full pretzels. the Alpine pretzels are salty pretzels buried in powder snow fudge. That's all they are. Handcrafted high up in the Rocky Mountains, new avalanche snacks are a unique blend of crunchy centers buried in delicious powder snow fudge. Every bite triggers an explosion of sweet and savory flavor unlike anything you've experienced before. Try all the varieties and discover the peak of snacking perfection. 28 grams is 80 calories or you can eat the entire container for 480 calories. There's about six servings in the package. Pretty decent size bag. The website is greatamericanfudge.com. <clears throat> it has almost a, a white chocolate Powdered sugar, kind of whatever. Mm -hmm. There's another kind of candy that I've had that tastes just like that. It's it's very good. Mm -hmm. It um, you could definitely eat that entire package mm -hmm. because it's very sweet. Mm -hmm. It's sweet, but I got the saltiness <coughs> of the pretzel mm -hmm. and the pretzel itself. You get the flavor of the pretzel mm -hmm. itself, but that coating is is very nice and sweet mm -hmm. and yes it it you want to eat more of it because yeah. it has such a great texture it's thick it's the texture like is thick. Thi thick but mm -hmm. not like snappy not hard it's like a, a softer texture yeah like it's soft chocolate it's like if you double dipped something no. um then it has that thick uh coating stuck with mine. it was stuck with so uh, and then i want to see it to the outside <laughs> Okay, these are the Grant Teton Teton Mix Crunchy Cereal and Pretzels Buried in Powder Snow Fudge. So this so it's is the same coating. Same thing, but it's cereal and pretzels. It looks like a uh, check mix. It's 113 calories per serving or 566 for the potato. So we need to get a cereal piece. And there's cereal. Cereal. I want to try the cereal by itself because we haven't tried it yet. Same texture. Um, you know, yogurty coating, the yogurt coating, that's what they're reminds me of now. That, um, I love it on the cereal. Yeah, I'm picking up that flavor. It's a, it's a yogurt type coating. Yeah. That with that cereal is amazing. I think those are, I thought they were checks. I think it's more of a, like a golden grain mm -hmm. than a checks. The flavor is good, but the one gets you is the texture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's really good. It says vanilla wafers. Mm. Honey grams. Honey grams, yeah. I'll tell you what, that cereal, they could sell that all by itself with just the cereal and that white. Yeah, although, I don't know why they put the pretzels in there. Although, I love the pretzel. I had a piece yeah. of the cereal and the pretzel I together. I did too. They go to good together. Oh my gosh. Because you get a little touch of the salt. That's five out of five right there. Yeah, it's good. I, amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is Pike's Peak S'mores, crunchy grams, marshmallows, and chocolate chips buried in powder snow fudge. So, this has more going on. 80 calories per serving, 28 grams, or 402 for the entire package. I don't think anybody would have an issue eating that entire package, but unless you cannot handle an overload of sweets. Okay. okay I see the marshmallows. I see the, the little chocolate pieces. They're literally like chocolate chips. This only counts for one piece. Oh, you got lucky. I don't see chocolate. 
Ew, what are these? Marshmallows. Oh, oh, I already had one of those. I just found a bigger one. Are there pretzels in there? Let's see. No. 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 Graham's marshmallows, chocolate chips. Yeah. Graham's marshmallows. Okay, I got it. Mmm, the marshmallow. It's crispy. Mm-hmm. It's like a... It's like a big cereal marshmallow almost. But it's better. Mm-hmm. That surprised me. I bit into that marshmallow. It was like crunchy. It's like... Mm -hmm. That was weird. That, when you chew it, it starts out crispy. Yeah. That's like a malted milk ball almost. Yes. Do you want to take... Do you want to... Uh, no, I've, I've eaten one. Um, it starts out crispy in your mouth, but then once all that crispiness is gone, honestly, the only thing left between your teeth is that fudge, mm -hmm. the white fudge. Yeah, which is really good. It's wonderful. My favorite thing in these mixes are those cereal pieces. I'm pretty sure they're golden grains or honey grains, whatever they call them. That's what they Amazing. are. Amazing. That is the best thing. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that tastes like s'mores necessarily, but it is a really good combination of... I think these little marshmallow kind of pieces don't taste enough like marshmallow. No, but they're good. You're but they are like good. Them. They literally have the texture of the inside of a malted milk ball, that kind of puff, that kind of holy, kind of crunchy texture. Mm -hmm. um, they're good. But I agree with you, the cereal's the best thing. They need to just sell a package of the cereal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well, and they might. They may. These were the only three the only three that we saw at Tuesday morning, it would be interesting to see do they make any more and where can you buy them? Um, because this is good enough that I'm surprised we don't see it sold in more stores. I know. Yeah, like, like yeah, why don't you see this? I don't know. Like in a regular a, store, not Tuesday morning, which is an odd place for yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. It's like, um, I don't know if Tuesday morning is necessarily like a closeout place. But it's kind of like that. Kind of like a big lot, you know. Um, I think it's a higher end big lot. I think they get a lot of the same things, similar things like Home Goods. Yeah. It's not closeout stuff, but it's it's different stuff. And yeah. You see it like a regular traditional. Exactly. Version. It is like it is very very much like Home Goods. It's just another version. Um, these are all good though. Mm -hmm. I would buy any of them again, oh, yeah. even too. back at the pretzels. Um, pretzels are good too. The pretzels are good too. I just, if I could only buy one, I prefer the ones with the cereal. Yeah, and me too. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.